Hey, so I'm Peter Nevsky here with Rowan Television Network at Salsa Night, and I'm here with... Uh, Leo Gringuito. And Kat Lagata. Okay, so how exactly do you guys get your start in dance? Oh, jeez. Uh, you want to start first, Samad? Yes. Yeah, why don't we start with your... your it's a documentary. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, actually, I took my first salsa class at George Mason back in 2000, and uh, I figured it was a better way to meet girls and do magic, because I was a magician at the first time. <laughs> And I'm not very impressive, obviously. That's why I moved to dance. But, but yeah, no, I did magic for about nine years. And when I was at Mason, I had the, an elective credit. So I took a three-credit salsa class and decided uh, to kind of take that route. And then I created this show in 2001. And 11 years later, here I am. Um, well, I've been dancing. I have a really boring story because, you know, my parents are both Latinos. So I, my mom is from El Salvador. My dad's from, from Peru. So, you know, I pretty much grew up dancing. And then, you know, as soon as I could pay for my own lessons, I got into that and got offered teaching jobs. I actually partnered up with Lee about three years ago. And here we are with Salsa Magic. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> wow. So why did you guys decide to do a class on bachata as opposed to any of the other salsa? Styles. Uh, well, you know, we when Kat and I travel, we're pretty much you know famous. It's really not famous, but it's known in uh, in, in bachata. Like we've taught more people to dance bachata in the U.S. than anyone in the world, and we've also uh, we have the world's largest bachata festival in D.C. where we get about six thousand people every year, forty-eight states, twenty-nine countries. And bachata is a little slower than salsa, so it's really it's slower, it's sexier. And it's also, you know, Usher just did a song with Romeo. So really, when you talk pop culture, it's, you know, I mean, everyone knows how to, you know, dance bachata. It's, it's much more sexier and exciting. Oh yeah, I mean, now it's 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 fusing a lot with hip hop and R and B beats. So it's a lot easier for like the masses, you know, to relate to it more. Whereas before, you know, bachata really had this traditional like kind of folk. Uh, yeah. kind of rhythm to it. So now that, uh, like the Usher song, for example, I mean, that's like a prime example. I Usher to who does R&B and hip hop. I mean, it, it just mends, you know, right together. So uh, it's become, it's starting to become just as popular as, as salsa. And in some places it is actually yeah. more popular than salsa. Yeah. Nice. Now you guys have been doing this, uh, well, you, Lee, for like at least a decade, I know you've done a bunch of uh, a bunch of venues like Microsoft and Hallmark. Like, wow, he's done his research. Oh yeah. <laughs> how is it doing like those venues as opposed to stuff like this, or like how much different isn't? You know. Uh, you know, it's. I mean, you mean the difference between doing, yeah. let's say, a corporate event and a talent show? I mean, you know, for us, it's really, it's all about interaction and spreading cultural diversity. Uh, you know, usually there's a couple better looking people at the university, it's just throwing it out there, uh, <laughs> you know, corporate America events. Oh but, my God. But anyway, but beyond that, no, you know, really, it's, it's really all a celebration of cultural diversity. And, you know, you know, when we have a chance to go to universities or colleges and, and, uh, and spread that, that culture, it's, it's a great opportunity for us. And, uh, we were really, you know, blessed to be where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, now, what are some of your major influences, like in salsa or, or otherwise? Uh, that's a good question. You know, my, I guess, you know, I, ha I had an aunt who, when I was growing up, uh, my aunt Emily, who passed away about 10 years ago, she, she was really a person who instilled in me, you know, creativity. So, you know, when I was like five, I went to my first Broadway show. And, and then I would come home and my sister and I would do like, we, we went and saw Cats and we would just do these terrible renditions of Cats. <laughs> and uh, it's probably why the show went off uh, Broadway after a while. But anyway, so we would do all these renditions of Cats and then, you know, we, we started teaching. And then when I, when I was, I left New York and I went to the Poconos and then, you know, she took me to this magic shop. So I started doing magic. And that's kind of how I, I think I got my, my creative side. And my, my parents always let me kind of do whatever I wanted. I'm like, I'm gonna be a magician. They're like, cool, you know, so I'm a magician. And, and, uh, and that's kind of how I started, just the freedom to be creative and, you know, be entrepreneurial at a, at a young age. You know, that's, that's my story. Yeah. So, yeah. For me, I mean, I, I've just loved everything dance related. I mean, ever since I was little, I was dancing around. You know, we would have parties and my, you know, my uncles and everybody would be in the living room and I'd be the one twirling around and doing circles and dancing. So <laughs> for me, I mean, it was just, uh, 
I just really love music, uh, and that's really how I how, how I kind of fell into things. Actually, when I um, when I started dancing with Lee, at that point, he actually was one of the first people that actually got me more into bachata. Believe it or not, like when I started uh, bachata in D.C. Uh, back then was obsolete. I mean, you would you would dance it. Uh, they'd put a bachata on, and everybody would clear, clear the floor. It was like you know, it was like the dance the that you take a break on. You know, you're like ah, oh, it's just bachata. You know. Now, do you guys have any tips for any people who are new on salsa or bachata? Like, like you could show me maybe. <laughs> The key is just to relax, take a drink, and then just do it, you know? It's all about how Unless you're on campus, Kat, Unless where it's a, campus, it could be a dry right. campus. I mean, you know, like juice, you know, yeah. No, the, the key is just to relax, have fun with it, you know? A lot of people get, get nervous, and it's just all about enjoying the music. Uh, yeah, I would say, I would agree to that. Enjoy, you know, enjoy the music, and, you know, just kind of let go and have a good time. That's how it's all, it all works. Hi guys, this is Leo Gringuito. And Kat Lagata. And we would like to thank Rowan After Hours for this awesome experience. Thank you guys so much. We had such a blast. Yeah, so many years coming back. I've been able to buy these nice jackets. Not joking. But uh, <laughs> it's been so much fun. Thank you guys for having us back. It's always a privilege to have an opportunity to celebrate cultural diversity with a good friend. Salsa, merengue, so, bachata. We had so much fun with Rowan you guys. After hours, you guys did awesome. It. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.